The title of your next lecture will be An Apology for the Law. Within this context, why did you choose this topic for your next lecture? Because I'm going to talk quite a lot about law. And I want to apologize for that, given my goal. I mean, my goal here is to talk about how the world has problems that they share in common. And I can show other fields, architecture, music, commerce, work, environment, where it's obvious, it's obvious that uh, people take into account what happens beyond their own shores. And they produce things that are used beyond their own shores. And law, there is sometimes a political debate, less among the technical people, but more, that maybe we should just look to the law in our own country and always apply it to our own country and not look about anything else that goes on abroad. I want to say, of course you have to look abroad. In many cases, not in all, but in many. And I want to uh, explain where that is, how that is, why there is much more similarity to our uh, other fields than you might think at first glance. And I say, why well, talk about that? And you already give away the answer. <laughs> because there is, it is necessary to preserve the rule of law, to do that. And the rule of law is important for many reasons, some of which I will mention, and one of which you have mentioned. But do you think it is under threat? Yes, of course. All you have to do is turn on the television set. Maybe now you just look at the internet screen. And you will see people in the world who they solve their problems without law. That isn't very pleasant. And it causes much pain and suffering and death uh, to people who live in such places. So obviously, it takes effort and thought and care and participation for those who live in countries that are lucky enough to have a rule of law, to preserve it, and to use it as the superior way to solve many of the problems that are now uh, uh, troubling us all.